good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And this is an LS engine. In this video, I will go ahead and demonstrate how to perform an engine compression test. The tools that are needed are a ratchet with the right socket or a breaker bar with the right socket and a compression testing gauge and an adapter as well. The first thing to do is to let the engine get warmed up for a few minutes. You can also do this test when the engine is cold, but it's better to get the engine warmed up to get better reading. After you shut off the engine, you're gonna go ahead and disconnect the fuel pump, fuse, or relay. Then you're gonna go ahead and disconnect the ignition coil in which it won't allow other spark plugs to get electricity when starting the vehicle or cranking the vehicle when doing this test. Then you're gonna go ahead and remove the spark plugs. Once the spark plug has been removed, you're gonna go ahead and use your testing gauge. Along with a testing adapter, you're going to snug it in into the hole of the designated spark plug hole that you want to test first. Once it's connected, you're going to go ahead and crank the engine four to five times and get compression readings. You can also get a friend to make it easier to either crank the engine and you get the readings or vice versa because you need to write down all of the readings of all of the cylinders that you're testing. As shown in the video, I got a 170 PSI. An example along with that reading, if the other cylinders get the same reading or 175 PSI, then it's considered normal. But let's say with that same 170 PSI on that cylinder that I tested, and I get other readings like 150, then there is an issue going on in the engine. Whether it can be an engine failure or the valves in the cylinders have worn out. Regardless, pressure readings cannot be more than 10% of each other or 15 to 20 PSI apart. Anyways, that's gonna be it. I hope I helped you out and have a nice day or evening.